All right, Joe, we've um, got some fan questions here and uh, you can get involved by listening to the Pitch Podcast. There's a lot, mate, and I'll be honest with you. The fan questions are great, but there's some real honking ones as well. Real honking ones, all right. Um, I haven't seen these ones, so these might be the best ones we've ever had, but like some of them are real bad. Okay. Um, But we're inclusive here, so we're just going to ask everything, so let's get straight into it. Can we follow you on social media somehow? Yeah. Um, well, tell in, us. Instagram, Joe underscore Gauchi. Mm. Um, Twitter is Joe Gauchi 46, I believe. Good highlight on the weekend. Uh, for someone who is an avid watcher of the Pitch Podcast. I loved when Hiroshi scored that goal. It was a bit of push and shove with Jordan Elsie, uh, Newcastle Jets, just to say, but you stayed with us, mate. You know what? You could have got the three points. We'll just mm. take them home. All right, here we go. Char Langley on Facebook. How did those two penalty saves feel last season against Central Coast Mariners? Um, no, it was pretty pretty special. I think being you know an ex player from there as well, um, it was kind of good to go there and and do it. But to be honest, at the end of the game, I was really disappointed because we lost. So as good as it, it was, it was really bittersweet. Uh, that's the best way to sum it up. If you have a player that is lining up for a penalty mm-hmm. and uh, they have two consecutive penalties. What's going through your mind? Are you are you watching film of them in the lead up and thinking, okay, so they've gone left this time. I know they're going to go right. Like, what, what's going through your head? I think the first one, you know, you might have a bit of an idea, but the second one is more just mental because, you know, do they go the same way? Do they change it? And you try to look at their maybe their run up things like that. You know, you maybe try move to try and throw them off. Um, but I think the second one's just more mental because. You know, especially if you've saved the first one. Um, I was fortunate in that sense that they changed penalty takers, mm. so it made it a little bit easier. But, yeah, it's definitely a mental battle if the same player is to take the second one, like, like uh, Tommy Urich did last year, you know, hat-trick of penalties. I would have hated to be in, to be in Barry Giddy in that game because it's just a mental battle. You you know, you might know where he's going to go most likely for his first one, but the second and third, it's you probably... Will really you know. look at Eugene and he'll go, yep, cool, just remember this is the film you've watched. Um, this is the way he's probably going to go? No, I, I no. don't look at you, Eugene. No. Um, if you were saving a penalty against Goody, does the little tiptoe pitter-patter thing, does that frustrate keepers or is that just yeah. a thing now? No, it frustrates you. I think it's just harder and harder to wait because you know, as a keeper, if you have an idea of what side they're going to go, you might cheat a little bit and go early. But with that... You know, he watches the keepers. He watches you. Like we, pra- he practices them in training all the time. Okay. Um, and you know, it makes it. It's even really hard in training. There's no pressure or anything. But it's like you've got to wait, 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 wait. But it's good because you know he can practice his run up, and I can yeah. practice waiting. It's just we both get to you know practice facing that that sort of penalty. Hey, congratulations, Goody, as well, scoring for the uh, Socceroos and also former Adelaide United player Riley McGree. Very nice work, uh, Thomas Russell on Facebook. Who are your goalkeeping idols? Um, no, I may probably have a few. Um, I think, I think Matty Ryan would be one as being Australian, breaking into the A-League quite young, obviously having a few move, like moves overseas, things like that into the Premier League. And, and, you know, he'd definitely be an idol because that's quite a close pathway for myself. Yep. Um, and then, you know, Casper Schmeichel, Peter Schmeichel. Are they the Schmeichel brothers? I don't know. <laughs> well, father alone? and son. Okay. Father and son. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I was close. Yeah, you have family yeah. members. Um, but yeah, a lot of keepers. I, I, I like looking at all sorts of different keepers because keepers from different countries and things have different techniques and different ways of doing things. So I like learning off everyone. Thomas underscore Labrociano on Instagram. Favorite <laughs> moment of our championship at Burks. <laughs> Tom Lab, um, yeah, we that year, that first year, I went to to Bicala, we under 18s, we won the league. Um, favorite moment would have to be the final. Um, I think we played Adelaide City, we won two one, um, and I actually saved a Carlo Armiento penalty in that game as well. So that year, we I think Adelaide City, we played each other like five times or something, and me and Carlo going at it, and you know, then he's broken into the A League, and I've been lucky enough to do it as well. So it's kind are. of a cool story. Jake underscore, high, uh, Jake underscore Highwood on Instagram. What's your favourite soccer moment playing for Sacred Heart College? Sacred Heart College. Um, not sure. I mean, I, I didn't get to play too many intercalls. We were our intercalls against uh, Ross Trevor. I, I didn't get to play many of them. But I think the ones I did play and we lost. Um, 
I don't know. I think just the good times playing with mates that I grew up with. Yeah, um, that would probably be the best thing. Jack Lewis, triple three on Instagram. Do you have aspirations to play in Europe? Of course. Uh, Fergus underscore Reeman on Instagram. What's the worst thing you've seen on a football field or from the crowd? I mean, be careful how you answer this. Yeah, I mean, on the football pitch, um, someone someone getting knocked out. Mm. I mean, that's that's pretty scary. Okay. Uh, ben Axford, 33. How do you stay calm and relaxed when you're playing big games? Um, I mean, you know, you're not always calm and relaxed, but I just play yourself into the game. Get a few touches early on is always nice, and then you know you just sort of you just sort of uh, you just take over from there, just all instinct. You listen to music before a game? Um, no, nah, just whatever's playing in the change room. You know, I like to stay quite relaxed. And you just... listen to podcasts though, yeah? You're a podcast guy. Yeah, in in the car and things like that. What do you listen to trip. apart from the pitch podcast? Um, listen to Ben Foster's podcast, uh, another keeper. I'm not sure if you know, but you know Ben Foster. Is. Yeah, Ben Foster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Is he related to the um, the other guys, the Schmeichels? Yeah, cousins. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah no, like, um, his podcast, high performance podcast, few like mental things like that. You know that, and some of the tips I get from those podcasts help me keep calm. So yeah, Tim from the Pitch Podcast on Instagram. Is this you? Yes. <laughs> He finds a way to insert himself into the podcast. Every week. Huh? Every week. You could have just asked it. You're right here. Just ask him here. Okay. Can we refer to you as Bishop Gauchi in our social posts? I don't even know who that is. He's a bishop from Darwin. He's based in Darwin and he's an actual bishop. And I figure you being a goalkeeper. What's his name? Bishop Gauchi. In Darwin. In Darwin. Yes. Not even from Adelaide. No. Wow. All right, no, so no, this I'll, everybody, pass on let's that. give Tim a round of applause for the worst question <laughs> ever asked on the pitch podcast. Well done, mate. That's quality. <laughs> like he's behind the camera. We don't edit this. <laughs> I know. And I wish we did. No, now it's just shame. You can't cut this out. If the ratings go down, we know why. We're going to go from 13 viewers to 12, mate. <laughs> All right. Jed, what's for dinner? <laughs> That's my brother. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's his turn to cook. Okay. Um, there's a couple which we've already answered in the uh, like the full edition of the podcast. So the question of what made you want to become a goalkeeper and when did you sign your first contract, just uh, for the people who are watching this, go back and have a listen. Uh, PA.DI.I.I on Instagram, happy with your FIFA card rating? I suppose so. I mean, it's, it's not great, is it? But... I don't know. Aaron Ramos, 3825 on Instagram, best teammate you've played with? Oh, God. That's a terrible question. Oh, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stitch up either, no matter how I, how I answer it. I mean, I've had some fantastic teammates. Um, well, who's your worst teammate you've ever played with? <laughs> um, nah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's have a think from the current squad. Um, I'm going to go Michael Jakobsen. Okay. I love it, Jakob. He's he's top guy. Uh, Conradandro on Instagram, what would be the dream club to play for? Um, dream club. Me being Manchester City supporter, probably probably have to say Manchester City. Stavro uh, Shatzigianis on Facebook. Favorite football moment as a fan. Favorite football moment as a fan. A legend, United winning the league. The Bernie Mac on Instagram. What kind of strength training exercises do you do as a goalkeeper? Um. We do a variety of things, lots of power. Um, so what we'll do, I guess, separate from the rest of the players is lots of power things. So lots of plyometrics, jumps, things like that. Luke Bratton on Instagram. <laughs> Why do you get haircuts at 11 p.m.? <laughs> it's whenever I can get in, to be fair. It's whenever I can get in. Thanks, Luke, Luke Bratton on Instagram. Why do you go to the beach at 10 p.m.? <laughs> no, lately the weather's been, been good, hasn't it? it this like is great. I great. love that Luke Bratton watches this podcast. So I hope he does. He's asking all these questions. You better watch it. Alan Riley on Instagram. What's the worst thing about being nearly two meters tall? Worst thing? Mm. Uh, flying. Grace.m.14 on Instagram. Your funniest teammate? Funniest teammate. Not Stefan Mork. No. So anyone else really? Okay, lozza.g.16 on Instagram. If you could give your 18-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? Um, be patient. Braden L99 on Twitter. If Malta were to call you up, would you accept or hold out until Australia comes calling? Um, I'm not sure right now. I think I just have to 
to wait and see. Okay, we'll just wait and see on that one. Uh, and Harry Scobie 4 on Instagram, what advice would you give upcoming goalkeepers? Um, work hard and the most important thing is the keepers to, to enjoy. If you're not enjoying it, then maybe become a striker. What are you watching on TV? What are you streaming at the moment? Anything? Um, not really. I mean, okay. I just watched the Neymar documentary. That oh, was, yeah, is that all right? Yeah, that was all right. That was all right. Um, been watching on a way. I'm only really watch stuff on a way trips because we have so much time. Yeah. I've uh, been watching Manifest on Netflix. Okay. That's okay. I mean, it's a pretty easy watch and it just always ends on a cliffhanger. So I just always end up watching the next episode. Yeah. It's just, it's just really just one of those, isn't it? All right. Well, good chat. Um, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for those questions apart from Tim. Whoa. No, it's not bad. That's over to you. Um, now, we've got this shirt here, which mm-hmm. we're going to get you to sign. Does anyone have a texter? This is the part where I've noticed the whole time we normally have a texter that sits right here like a Sharpie. And in He's my too mind, focused on his question. That's it. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, you know what? There's going to be a point where we need to sign the top and I have an organized texter. Um, so... Look, just pretend to sign it right now, then we'll do it. Um, This has been great speaking to you, mate. Thank you very much for your honesty as well. Um, It's been good getting to know you, and um, congratulations, because as I said, your journey and what you've learned from it so far is awesome, and you're young, you've got a big future ahead of you. Oh! Sign it wherever you like. Um, We have a big game coming up this Friday night. Doubleheader, don't forget, Sydney FC. It is going to be huge. Joe Gouges here. We're going to give away this top at the end of the season as well, mate. um, Appreciate it. And uh, all the best with your recovery from whatever injury that you always have. And um, let's hope you stay here. Let's hope I stay (laughs) fit. No, man, it's, um, it's great to have you playing really good football consistently as well. So touch wood, stay fit. We love it. Thanks for your time (laughs) on the pitch. Thank you.